So I'm out on the trail today and I thought I would stop for a few minutes and do a review of the watch I'm wearing. It's a Seiko dive watch. You're in the frame here. And uh, talk about a few points, mostly what I like. Don't know that I have any dislikes for this watch, but uh, we'll talk about it here. So stand by. The watch I've got on today is the uh, Seiko SRP 043 K1, uh, also known as the Spork. And it's also sometimes called the Seiko Sen, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Um, there's also a K2 model, the SRP 043 K2. The difference between the K1 and the K2 is that the K1 comes on a stainless bracelet and the K2 comes on a rubber strap. So those two models are out there in the world. Uh, they are discontinued. They're a little bit hard to find new in the box right now, but if you look around you can find these. I've owned this watch for about two years and it's uh, kind of a mid-priced watch. It was in the mid 300 street price. Uh, you can still find uh, like new in the box, pre-owned examples on eBay for example. But anyway, I'll talk a little bit about the watch. Uh, first size and weight. It's a large watch. Uh, it's 44 millimeters across not including the crowns. 50 millimeter if you include the crown down here at 4 o'clock. Uh, the thickness of the watch is 14 millimeters, so it sticks up a little bit on the wrist. And the lug width here where you would attach a bracelet or a strap is 20 millimeters. Fairly common size. Uh, you can find a lot of aftermarket straps to fit the watch if you so desire. I like the bracelet on the watch myself and probably will keep it on there for a while. It's a rather hefty watch. Uh, on my scale at home it weighs in at about 7.2 ounces or about 203-204 grams. So you know you have something on your wrist when you have this watch on. Construction, it's all stainless steel. It uses both brushed finish as well as polished in some areas. Uh, you can see the, the shinier parts that are polished but overall it's mostly brushed. The sides are brushed, the top of the lugs are brushed. Um, it has a screw down crown of course, it is a diver's watch and a screw down case back. Uh, I'll show you the back here. We can get it in focus. You can see the, the Seiko Tsunami Wave logo that they put on their dive watches on the back. Standard uh, case back wrench removal tool will work on this watch. It has the uh, unidirectional 60 minute diver's bezel here. It's quite easy to turn. Uh, I'll rotate it here for you so you can see it. Turns quite easy and it is unidirectional. It uses the Seiko Hardlex, Hardlex crystal. It's a flat crystal. It's not domed at all. Uh, I've seen some reports that say it's got uh, anti-reflective coating on one side. Don't know that I can confirm that though. As far as the dial, it's a black dial. It uh, has white uh, numerals and markers and hands. It uses the Seiko LumaBright luminous treatment on the, the markers and numerals. Shines quite bright at night. Uh, pretty good luminous treatment on this watch. The date window is at 4.30 kind of between the four and the five o'clock markers. It has the black background and white numerals, which I like. Water resistance is 200 meters, so it is a true diver's watch. And it has drilled through lugs. You can see the lug holes here for the spring bars, so it makes getting the spring bars in and out fairly easy. And finally, this one has the stainless steel bracelet. It has the push button clasp like a lot of Seiko divers. It also has the divers extension which I won't operate but I'll show you where it's at. It's up here on this end near the push buttons. Actually it's on the other end. Sorry. It's on the clasp end. Here's the divers extension right here. I'm not going to fold it out though. It operates just like most uh, Seiko bracelets. 
talk a little bit about the movement. Um, in my last video I talked about the Seiko Monsters. They have the 7S26 movement in them. This uh, Spork diver has the Seiko 4R15 21 Joule automatic winding movement. Like the 7S26, it's uh, non-hacking and there's no manual winding, so it's strictly uh, automatic winding. Again, it's fairly efficient winder. A few swirls of the watch starts it up. You can, on these non-hacking movements, apply uh, some back pressure on the crown. I'll show you how to, to do that. Basically, you just pull the stem out and turn the crown slightly in a counterclockwise direction. You see I stopped the movement. Now, some people say that that's hard on the movement not to do it. I've uh, been doing it for quite a while on all of my non-hacking watches and it hasn't seemed to cause any harm but but anyway do it at your own risk uh, don't advocate it but that's how I set time on my watches this uh, particular watch has been surprisingly accurate out of the box and even now two years later it runs fairly consistently about plus or minus two to three seconds a day uh, so I don't know if that's typical of all of these 4R15 movements or if I've got one that's been regulated especially well. But I'm quite pleased with that. It's much better performance than I've seen on most of my 7S26 movements. Uh, finally, I'll talk a little bit about aesthetics. It's extremely legible, which I really like and is an important characteristic of dive watches. Uh, it has some aviator styling to it. Uh, just the look, the, the way the markers are laid out, the numerals, the style of the hands. Some people call it the aviator's diver. Um, as I said earlier, it's been compared to Sen watches, and in particular, if you look at a Sen model 657 dive watch, this looks very uh, similar. I don't think that Seiko was trying to copy the Sen, but there is a lot of similarity there. Um, haven't been diving with this watch yet but I do plan to have it on my wrist on my next dive trip which I hope is in the next six months and I will be giving it an underwater test I have no fear at all that it will perform just fine overall I give this uh, SRP 043 a solid thumbs up very nice dive watch it's a larger dive watch fits in with today's styles uh, but you do need to probably Look for them fairly soon if you want one new in the box because they are disappearing quickly. So that's all for the review today. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.